The Wagner Group, a Russian mercenary organization, is allegedly using social media platforms to recruit new members from all around the world. A study published by Logically, a London-based disinformation research group, identified more than 50 examples of Wagner recruitment information being shared in 16 languages across Twitter and Facebook. Here's example number one, but in English. The user boasts fighters can make up to 240,000 rubles per month, the equivalent of 2,700 euros per month without bonuses, a well-known propaganda technique used by the mercenary group to recruit fighters. The group is apparently looking to fill many positions from IT to medical roles as well as actual foot soldiers. Here's example number two, but this time in Spanish, also trying to recruit fighters and promoting uh, benefits such as, for example, life insurance. The cube also saw similar posts in French, Vietnamese and Indonesian. These job adverts garnered nearly 120,000 views across Twitter, Facebook, as well as other platforms. And there are other startling elements to this online recruitment campaign, according to Kyle Walter, the head of research at Logically. I think the level of engagement was probably the most shocking thing. Um, you know, some of these posts had 20, 30,000 views. Um, a lot of them were being shared in languages that you wouldn't necessarily expect, right? Vietnamese, even some things in Polish. Um, so there's a lot of variety to the different languages and different target audiences, but they were mostly using the same kind of structure. While the researchers couldn't directly attribute the messages to Wagner 100%, while the style and the arguments presented are very similar to the group's recruitment process back in Russia. And what's particularly concerning here is that the Wagner group is accused of widespread human rights abuses and atrocities committed in Ukraine. But because they're not considered an international terrorist organization, well, the sort of content remains in the gray zone, according to Logically. This is... A a type of content that we really don't have rules for at the moment because Wagner is not designated internationally as a terrorist group, right? Um, so it allows it to be able to flourish online, which can be very concerning, right? Because regular everyday people can directly reach out via Telegram or via WhatsApp to representatives of the Wagner group and find themselves in very dangerous positions. So I think it's something that we need to consider more going forward. Even before Russia's full-scale invasion uh, of Ukraine, the Wagner group was involved in fighting throughout Central Africa. But the organization rose to mainstream prominence in recent months after offering convicted Russian prisoners a chance at freedom in exchange for their fighting in Ukraine. Wagner boss Yevgeny Prigozhin claimed the group has since then suffered losses of up to 20,000 mercenaries.